Hi, this is Dan Sheffield of the Help Me to Learn Company. Today I'm going to give you a tour of Games of Math 1 Edition and Money. We're using Superstar Online. The other versions are very similar, but let's go ahead and get started by clicking on Games of Math 1. Welcome to the Games of Math. Where do you want to begin? Select the stage you want to start on. Select Stage 1. Start at Stage 1 unless you are already very good at adding numbers and you know the value of money. Select Stage 2 if you are very good at adding large numbers and you are very good at adding money. Select Stage 3 if you can add two-digit numbers. Stage 3 is very challenging, so you must qualify for this advanced level. So I'm going to go ahead and start at Stage 1. And uh, notice this is our main menu. I'm going to turn off the help instructions. They'll stay off until we turn them back on, but I recommend that you leave the help instructions on. So notice from our main menu that we have Build a Pet, which is about numbers. We also have our pre-test and post-test. We're in the student version of the program, so we have a parents button. This is meant for the parents to help their student at home. But we also have a numbers practice, an addition practice, and a money practice. So let's take a look at a couple of those first. So we're going to start here with the numbers practice. And we have number names, comparing numbers, place value, expanded form, and rounding numbers. So let's try number names to begin with. And we have easy, normal, and hard. Let's do normal. So what we're doing here is we're basically setting up a little quiz. And we can make this as long as we want. And so we can do this for three minutes or we can have the number of questions that we want so we can say that I want to have uh, 10 questions and then we have a time limit on each one of the questions so let's go ahead and start the practice so here we have the number name 22 we'll click on the right answer and 7 and we just do these as, as quickly as we can now if we make a mistake it's going to take away from our score and uh, we'll see how many we can get right in the 10 questions that we have here. And we've completed this Great job. quiz. So we have a score of 8. Um, so we got a couple wrong. So we can view and print our results, or we can go back to the quiz options. Let's try one more real quick. Uh, rounding numbers, uh, we'll do normal. And uh, we've got 10 questions. And we'll just do a couple of the questions here. Round it up to the nearest tenth. Uh, round it to the nearest tenth, we'll have 30. And uh, 47 will be 50. So that is an example of one of the quizzes. We're going to click on the menu and addition practice. Our first thing that we can do is we can select a row. So if we want to work on the fours and then we can go up to 20. Uh, we can click on another row and we can work on um, anything with 17 in it. Or we can click on anything we want, individual numbers. We can turn off the rows and select just the numbers that we want to work with. So let's go ahead and get started. We um, Let's go down to five questions and 20 seconds and let's start the practice. And so we've got uh, three plus five is eight and uh, 17 and I'll get one wrong and 17 and 9. So basically what you're building here is something very similar to flashcards. So we have a lot more quizzes. We've got our money practice and uh, so we have all of these practices here. We also have rules. 
So if we need to review some instruction, we can go to the money chart and uh, shows our money and what that looks like. Let's count by coins. First, we'll start with pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was easy. Now let's count by nickels. Nickels are worth five cents each. So each number will go up by five cents. So that's an example of some of our practices. We're going to click on the main menu and let's go to one of the games. Let's build a pet. So the first thing that we have here is a pet that we're going to build. Again, we have math rules, so we can review that. Click let's on click on start. Icons below to pick what you want your character to so look let's see what we click want our character to, to look like. Um, click on the green. So we'll oh. click here, OK. How many bones are there? So we're going to click on 2, and then 5. All right. Spin now we get to build a pet. So right now, you we only have a choice of our of hamster. If you want to change Welcome your to pet or your character, so we have particular again. instructions click here. Okay so we're going to click on OK, and then we have 3 and 5. All right. Select the base color so we can of your color pet. our pet and uh, so we have some options that are not available to us at this time and we'll answer a couple more questions All right. decide what name you want to and give now your we pet. can name our pet or we can type in a name if we want to um, name the pet uh, ourselves and uh, Now we're Select the add body, a body pattern, pattern of your to the pet. pet. So I'm going to uh, go to the end of this game and uh, get back to you in a minute. Okay, and we're back, and now we have some ears that we're going to add to our pet, and we're near the end of building you our pet. You can print out a picture of your character and pet. Click the yellow arrows to see more pictures. Click the green OK arrow when you are ready to move on. And we could print this if we'd like to print this out. So let's click on yeah. OK. And Great job! You beat the level goal! Do you want to move up to the next level for this game? So since we beat the level goal, yes, we want to move up to the next level. And then we get to play again. Click on the head icons below to pick what you want. Now your we can change our character. Click on the yellow arrows to see more choices. And click, click on, on OK. Click on and the now the below. problems that are a little bit harder. The number in the middle of the screen. I'm going move to uh, move on and uh, finish this game and come back to you. OK, and we're back now. And uh, we're almost finished building our pet. We're using a pet bird this time. And um, we have just a few more. Select the type of beak your pet will have. Now the questions are random. Right. Select the type of feet your pet will have. You can print out a picture of your character and pet. Click the yellow arrows to see more pictures. Good job! Great job! You beat the level goal! Do you want to move up to the next level for this game? And yes, we do. And now we unlock the catch it game. So that allows us to go on and we can click on next and then we get to play the catch it game. Again, we have math rules. Now where the build a pet game was not time, if we do this quickly, we'll earn more points. So we have a normal, hard, or extreme. So we'll start with a normal. And we're going to add here. And so we got 1. And we've got 4. And 0 is 4. And 1 and 3 is 4. And Try to throw the disc to your pet. When the arrow is pointing at your pet, We have the instructions the for the game. I'm going to skip those. 
so the idea is that I try to throw my discus as close to the pet as possible. Notice that we have some when and uh, they're keeping track of our time. So we want to keep that in mind and so we've got four and two and zero. Get that as close as we can. And one more time. And zero. And five. And let's get one wrong. And so that one's not so close. What? So I'm going to click on level one here and this takes us to our progress page and this shows you what we have to do. We have five levels in each stage of the program. So like I said there were three stages. Stage one is basically based on first grade standards. Stage two is second grade standards and stage three is third grade standards. We're up at level three on the build a pet. We're on level one of the um, catch it and as we go through the program we'll be opening up more levels here and so we have overall. Notice that we have a stage here and the stage two and three are locked. It uh, The teacher does have the option of opening these up so that the students can move between the stages but that's a teacher control. So I'm going to open up some of these other stages so you can see um, some more of the program so I'll be back to you in just a little bit. Okay I'm back and what I've done is use teacher controls to put this student on stage three and so now we're on level one of stage three so let's see so let me show you a little bit click of the difference the now below. so if we're still at build a pet and okay click and on now the number in the we're in the tens place okay so we're gonna click on the tens place click on the number in the right. spend your points to buy the type of pet. so we click on the number in the ten thousands place Click on the number in the... Right. So let's go on and now we're going to the... Uh, so we're here, we're adding uh, using larger numbers. Five and four and one and seven and as we go up each level in this game the problems are going to get more difficult give your pet so commands here's some by clicking get ready go no. No. Let's go on to the word problems. Oh, no. Your pet has run off into the go So we're going to go along here and collect All right. So that's a quick idea of some of the games that are in Games of Math 1, Addition and Money. It's a fantastic program.